Hello, I'm James George, and this is Create a Beacon. And today I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, custom color swatch set from uh, an image that you have in Photoshop. And so a lot of people wonder well, okay, so I've got this default swatch set. How do I, um, you know, I don't want all these colors in there. What do I do with them? Well, you can delete them. And uh, you can see from uh, the options that there's not really any way to get rid of them. There's no delete all swatches or anything like that. And so what you actually have to do is if you hold down your Alt or Option key, uh, depending on if you're a Mac or PC, uh, and hover over the swatch, you see like a little scissors icon. That means cut it out of there. And so if you just click on it, it'll go away and so all you have to do and I, I know this is a lot of clicking but you don't have to move your mouse you can just sit there and hold it in the same spot and click 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 and it will just all go away and so it'll take you you know maybe 30 seconds total to get rid of all these swatches but you won't have your swatch selections muddied up with all these default swatches and so you've gotten rid of all these and they're all gone and so you have a blank swatches panel and so what um, what you can do is grab the eyedropper tool like let's say that we wanted to sample this yellow you say uh, you double you know you uh, sample it and then you go over here to your swatch little menu your foreground background color here and you can select a color and then say add the swatches and then we'll say name it whatever you want it to be and then okay and so there's your swatch and so then you all you have to do is just go around you know, like let's say we wanted that blue we'll double click it add the swatches We'll call it night blue. Hit OK, and then let's say we wanted this orange. And we'll just sample a few more. Let's say this bright blue. And So you have four swatches. Let's see if I'm going to add any more. Maybe sort of this copper color. Okay, so you've got five swatches, and so let's say that you wanted to save these as a custom swatch. You just go to Save Swatches, and it will say Untitled Swatches.aco, and you can name them Night Colors. Let's say you just want to do that, and you save it. It goes in the color swatches folder, and then, so, let's say that you're done with these color swatches and you want to switch them to a new set. You can just say reset swatches, and you say okay. And so there's your default swatches back. So when you delete these swatches that are a part of uh, your default set, you can get them back just by going to the, uh, just by resetting your swatches. So let's say that I wanted to, to bring those in. I could say load swatches nightcolors.aco and there they are right there at the bottom and so that's a great way for you to be able to uh, create custom uh, SWAT sets and be able to control your colors and or organize them so that uh, you don't have just a, a million colors here and which can really just 
uh, confuse you and, and muddy up your choices. That's it for this week. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.